Okay guys, so let's try another one of these Graham's Laws of Fusion uh, problems. So uh, this one in particular says, um, what is the rate of effusion of oxygen molecules if we have a mixture of oxygen and helium? And the rate of helium effusion is 2.76 times 10 to the negative fourth moles per second. Okay? So in order to do this problem, we have to recall um, Graham's law of effusion. Okay? So uh, does anybody remember that? Can you guys help me with that one? So yeah, rate one divided by rate two. Yeah, very good. That equals what? So remember that um, law. If you don't remember that equation, you can't do these problems, unfortunately. Okay. So, um, well, what does that mean? Well, then that means we need to figure out what the molar mass of these things is. Okay. So, um, what did it say? It was molar mass of helium and the molar mass of oxygen. So oxygen, we have to remember, is the diatomic molecule. So if we forget that, um, and we put just 16 from the periodic table, we're not going to get the correct answer, okay? So oxygen's diatomic, so it's going to be 2 times 16. We get that number from the periodic table. 32.00 in molar mass grams per mole. And helium, of course, we look up at the periodic table. 4.002 grams per mole. Okay? So let's plug that into this equation. Well, it doesn't say helium and an oxygen, so let's uh, rewrite this equation to include those. So we're looking for the rate of oxygen, so why don't we just put it here so we can um, have that um, uh, variable be easily isolated, okay? So I'm gonna put, instead of one, I'll put O2 there, and O2 there, and here, and G. In here, AG. Okay. The other thing I like to do, I don't really like to work with this square root symbol. I like to um, put exponents. So if you guys recall, this is the same thing to the one half as the square root. Okay. So um, let's rearrange this to isolate the rate of oxygen here. So. What are we going to do? Multiply both sides times the rate of helium. So when we do that, we erase that there, and then multiply this. Like that. Okay, wonderful. So can everybody get to this point? Everybody's okay yes. with that? Okay, good. So let's just, um, plug in our numbers. So do we have all this? Yes. Rate of helium, molar mass of helium, molar mass of oxygen. So we have everything we need. So just a plug and chug problem. So molar mass of helium, 4.002 grams per mole. And the molar mass of oxygen, 32.00 grams per mole. Okay. So one half times the rate of helium, which is going to be 2.76 times 10 to the negative fourth moles per second. Okay. So when we do that, hopefully you see grams per mole cancels with grams per mole there, and our units, our final units here, are going to be in moles per second. Okay, so um, let's see. 4.002 divided by 32 to the one half multiplied by 2.764. Okay, and I get a number. This number here. So the three significant figures. 9.76 times 10 to the negative fifth moles per second. 
So that would be the rate of effusion of oxygen molecules um, in this particular set, okay, in this particular system. Is there any questions about this one? Okay, wonderful. We'll do one more of these Graham's Law problems, okay?